All right, so folks, so for Artist Insight, this is the question I want to ask Musa Major. How important is family? And how can family hold you down and build you up from and within your struggle and within your dream? Because coming out of prison, a man really has nothing to go to but his backbone. Yeah. So how did family hold you down? And now that you're in them doing music and taking care of your own family, how does family keep you inspired and hold you up? Listen, I want to say this first and foremost. Without my family, I don't think I would have survived prison. And not, and then of course you need financial support. Like these, that emotional support. Like I, I went through a lot. Not only did I go to, go to prison, I went to prison, was in a hole for extended period of time, 24 hours a day, can't come out of, if I, if I didn't have letters coming in, cards with encouraging words man I probably I probably would have would have broke but my family that emotional support that emotional support helped me out tremendously man tremendously and just knowing that if you got something on your mind you can pick up the phone and call anybody from mother grandmother aunt sister like I could I could pick up the I could have picked up the phone and call anybody man visits just just being able it's tough being in that being in prison seeing your family and not being able to leave with them when they depart, but just being able to embrace them, hug them, talk them, talk to them. Yo, that kept that kept me going, and that and that kept me from being, you know, consumed by that place. Like though I was in prison, I never was like confined there mentally. My family being there always like kept my mind on on like the outside. I was worried more about stuff that was going on. You know what I'm saying out here in the, in the real world as opposed to you know what was going on in there. But family family is extremely important, man. Even. You know, even post prison, coming home, like everybody take having somewhere to live for granted. Like if I didn't have my family, when I think about it, if I didn't have family, I would have came home and had to. I probably would have, probably would have had to rent a room out somewhere. I was able to come home and live comfortably, man. Like there's a lot of guys that spend a significant amount of time in prison and come home and have nothing. I know brothers in there who lost everybody that was important to them, and when they came home, they came home to to, to nothing. Like me, I'm so appreciative of the fact that I got a strong support system, that I had a strong support system back then. Like, without that, man, I, I you know, I don't know how I would have survived. Now, with the music, the support, and, and, and if you look, a lot of artists like share these same sentiments, man. With music, your your family tend not to support you a lot. I don't know if they don't they don't think it's it's serious. But I guess once it reaches a certain level and uh, they realize that it that 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 it that is like some something, something bigger than what they think, they'd be more supportive. But when it comes to music, I don't get too much support. You know what I'm saying from my from my family when it comes to music, and it, it it may have something to do with me. Like if I have a show, I tend not to tell my family about the show because the minute you come up with an excuse of why you can't be there, you say you're gonna come and not come, I feel some type of way. But I just kind of keep my my music and my family kind of separate because I don't want to be put in a situation where I, I feel like they should support and they're not. So I kind of keep it keep it separ separate. But with the music, the people that support me the most are complete strangers. <laughs> Prime example, you know what I'm saying? I'm behind this camera. It's like strangers, people that, that I'm just, you know, meeting for the first time have helped me more with my music career than my family. And I'm not knocking my family at all. Like I said, with family nine times out of 10, they, once they realize it's, it's, it's bigger than what they think, that's when they, you know what I'm saying, they jump on and start helping. But even still, just having the, the, the comfort of, of, of knowing you have have that support if you needed it. Like, if I really needed my family to do something, you know, pertaining to music, I'm sure they'd come through for me. But like I said, I don't rely on their, you know, their support for, uh, you know, for music. But just being a, a man and being a human being, without my family, I'm nothing. Like, family is everything. The main thing that happens in hip hop that disgusts me is trends and fads. And fads, fads. Okay, I said fads. Sure you I, said, I said fads. I said fads, fads, fads. <laughs> no, I ain't with that. Hey, hey, hey. But fads. <laughs> and um, whenever you have real music, it's duplicated and often reinstated in music. Yeah. Marvin Gaye released the first mixtape album, which was the um, What's Going On album, mm -hmm. and that inspired Stevie Wonder having artist integrity and other artists 
having artist integrity within their music and not letting people dictate their music. Yeah. Chuck D is the first artist to sue a major record label because when music went streaming, streaming wasn't in the original contracts and he figured out we're old money. Mm. So now I'm gonna go back and get the money that was been stolen from me because you took my art and put it on a new platform but didn't include me in the budget. In the budget, yeah. As an artist, for you, what does it mean to always have that stand pat that this is mine and I'm always gonna stand by it and fight for it and then never compromise the delivery of it so people can enjoy it for time and time again over the enjoyment of years and legacies of people. That's, that is very important. Look, that's what Prince died for. He said that to the very end. You know, you gotta own, you gotta own your stuff because then you can be controlled and you be like a puppet. They say, dance, Negro. Next thing you know, you're selling Pepsi <laughs> at McDonald's, right? And then your fans are making excuses for the whack shit you're putting out because you tied up. How gangster can you be when some businessman got you by the nuts? You bust your gun at your own people, but a dude could come with a, <laughs> a paper and go like that and just change your whole shit. These guys ain't who they say they are. Stay independent, stay free. Get off that bullshit.